Hello and welcome back to my let's play of Median Excel. Uh, while you were gone, I crafted some things and I totally forgot which ones it were. But I'm pretty sure you didn't see these Iblis Klaus. And also, I have a sash that I've prepared for probably a Nef rune word. Let's see. Can I use Nef? I don't think I can. There. No. Wait, no. That isn't it. No. It's another one. Uh, maybe F or something. And that will give me some other bonus, but I forgot what it was, and apparently I ditched the uh, um, room that I needed, like an idiot. So. Uh, that's for a later time. Uh, I still have the rebel quilted armor, of course, and I'm about a third on the way to level 15. Right now we have to go to uh, through the underground passage to the dark wood, search for the tree of Inifus and recover the scroll. After we do that, um, we have to... Uh, to bring the scroll to Akara, she's gonna decipher it. We'll activate the portal to Tristram and save Tackard Kane so, we, so that we can get free uh, identification items. Uh, but first, I have to find the stony field and the stony field weapon. Probably make a setting for pluggy so that it starts in players 8 automatically, but I keep forgetting. So. Careful not to move through, uh, through the areas too quickly because uh, the monsters upgrade quite a lot each in each new area, and uh, I might get killed. I'm not really used to that uh, because uh, I usually play very tanky characters that never ever die. Then all that happens is it basically takes a little longer. But uh, on a sorceress. It's it also takes longer, but then I also get one shot it. Or, or not, apparently. Not so much. This is Stony Field. Right, there should be a passage somewhere around here. This is the uh, Cairns, uh, the Cairns Yes. We need that in sweep for cover the scroll. don't really care about the items. So all I need is uh, money and some base items so that I can build better items out of those. Uh, while playing the game. I think maybe I've left. Yes. It's a bit too loud, I think. There we go. That's, uh, that's better. Okay. I get it wrong? Do I have to go to another? No, that's the underground passage. Uh, yeah, that's one thing about this build that's kind of shitty, is that you don't have an easy way to regain a lost life. Some pots or, or ding that also works. He's dead. Can I? To suck. Oh god, please. Oh, shite. 
He has a poison flash ability that damages you for problematic amounts of poison damage. The upside to that enemy is that he drops loads of gold, gold, delicious gold. Uh, definitely want that. He has a nice one pointer, familiar. Gives me a plus one to all my skills. That's a free plus Lornado, so I should do a little bit more damage. Ah, it's not free. Obviously it cost me uh, two skill points to spec into familiar. But it also upgrades my defensive skills. So it's really there's no way to go wrong with this. And everything's dying very quickly now. That's good. Oh my god. Uh, I don't know if I gave the yeah, I gave her uh, just the bow, probably. Should give her some armor at some point as well. I'm also fairly certain that you can stack uh, shrine buffs now, which is super sexy. Because in the uh, in the old Diablo, if you picked up a shrine buff, if you already had one, you would just lose the old one. Which was not so nice. Go away. I did it earlier with uh, a barbarian that I had lying around and I farmed a little bit with my minion necromancer uh, for money. I don't really, I don't use him in this let's play because he's he's quite boring to look at. He's also quite boring to play. It's very easy. All I have to do is curse and teleport, and, uh, or a bane even, and teleport and uh, my minions take care of everything. Even on players 8. So, so with a little uh, conviction I can usually get an apple or two in a run through uh, to the act boss. So that's uh, 10 or 20k per run. It takes me about 10 minutes. The upsides of a minion build, very easy farming. You walk into an area, everything dies. But it's not involved, you don't really have to pay attention to positioning because uh, uh, that necro basically has a build where all he has to do is stand around. He, uh, it's a hybrid, it's half vitality, half energy. So um, he has shitloads of health. And uh, some reasonable regen from one hit stuff. Or maybe it was on kill. Probably on kill. Which means that uh, I, I'm never really without anything. This is stupid cave snappers. It's actually two of them. Die! Has done it again. This is uh, already made 6k here because of the cave snappers and the excellent money drops. I don't forget to have a 2.5 or some so uh, uh, money from enemies because of my uh, Archon's gem that I got from the first level challenge. Which probably also contributes to the Absolutely ridiculous amounts of gold these guys are giving me. No, let's upgrade that. Can't upgrade anything. To soak? Oh! Just don't poison pleasure. I need some poison resist because this is super bad. I can 
basically be killed by a single mob type. Uh, it's pretty much normal, but even my uh, uh, bit of barbarians <laughs> take a ridiculous amount of damage from these guys. But, but at least they have Titan Strike, which gives them regen. And uh, oh, uh, uh, the uh, Paladins are even easier because they have uh, well, the Unholy Paladins. Three of them? My god. The Unholy Paladins are even better because they have a skill called Unholy Flesh, I think. Which uh, also gives you regen, but for a very long time she don't have to worry about punching things. And uh, of course, uh, Holy Spec Paladins have uh, loads of area effect damage that you don't have to do anything for. Just stand around and your body will shoot things for you. Uh, in a lot of ways, it's even better than a, uh, a me in uh, a summoning build. Okay, what the hell? Uh, because uh, you're even more passive, but that also makes it, well, it makes it feel a little bit nicer because you're in the middle of the action, but it's still quite boring. Which is why I also don't play those guys too much anymore. And this uh, is actually a lot more entertaining because if I don't pay attention to what I'm doing, I immediately die. And the fact that I'm recording this also helps, I think, because it makes me not want to die constantly because it makes me look like a massive no crud. So, yeah, this underground passage is supposed to lead to somewhere else. I just found another entrance to uh, a new request area, which I don't want to go to because I'm, I'm now level 16. And... Uh, these super quests are, I think, uh, 50 or 60. Which means they'll just get destroyed by all the enemies. There's no way to do that right now. Oh, I have to go this way. There's still some leftover enemies, but we don't really care about that. We just want to get to the other side of this passage. Because that's where we'll find the tasty scroll and Deckard Cain and the first real boss that drops anything that we actually want. Okay, we're in the dark wood. Excellent. Uh, this is gonna suck, probably. There's a spot of black there. I don't know if you saw it. Uh, I don't know where that came from. What's this? Oh, wow. Oh. Go away. Uh, use the tree that we need. Uh, this ancient tree has an aura of magic about it. Yeah, of course it does. An aura of magic. It's terribly interesting. Tell me more. Would you like to hear more? <coughs> I would. Ah, no lowers forthcoming. So sad. Uh, just walking around to find a waypoint at the moment. There's a, a new type of enemy here. Which is invisible, the Harlequin. That's not a terribly big problem, except if you're squishy, which obviously I am. So. Uh, they can suddenly appear around you, and if there's enough of them, you'll have a very bad time. Because uh, uh, they do a respectable amount of damage, and if they've closed you in, you can't run away. Which is, of course, the biggest problem, because this build needs kiting have some armor, so 258, uh, 85 even, which is, but it's reasonable, it's not very good, and it's definitely not what you'd expect in, uh, from someone wearing only quilted armor, so that's positive. Diamonds, sapphires. I built uh, a thing to automatically compress gems ages ago, but of course, it was not uh, made for this resolution, so I'm gonna have to do something about that. Maybe fix it. Maybe just uh, build a better version of it. I can use PyXHook this time or something. And basically, what it did was move all of the gems that I didn't want in my inventory into my stash, and then it would compact all of the gems that it could as well. And that would be really nice because, well, uh, you can't really tell here, but 
My necromancer earlier had a full inventory of gems and runes, and I could not pick up any uh, proper items because of it. So that's definitely not the situation you want to find yourself in. There we go. Let me go back. And that actually took me 15 minutes. So the runes have been translated. Um, now what we have to do is go back to the stony fields and use the scroll of Inifus. I can just read it right now, but I'll do that when I'm next to the cairn stones because I find it easier. Um, but that's something that I'll show you next time. Uh, yeah, have a nice whatever day, probably a few hours before I get around to uploading the next video. Bye!